the difference. That's what we're covering today. And when it comes to surgeries, there are often several options you can choose from for the same condition. And we recently received this Facebook question from Dave in Pittsburgh, who says, my son had arthroscopic surgery on his knee, and I was wondering, what's the difference between arthroscopic and laparoscopic surgery? I love this question because they're both minimally invasive surgeries, but they're different types of endoscopy. So both use a fiber optic video camera and tools that are inserted through small incision. And what that does is it allows the surgeon to look around inside the body without having to make that big, large incision, which would then be called an open procedure. Exactly. And most specialists, most surgical specialists, are doing some form of endoscopy. As a plastic surgeon, we do endoscopic brow lifts, endoscopic breast surgery, endoscopic mid-face lifts. But in this case, let me explain the difference between arthroscopy first it's an endoscopic technique. The first thing, the orthopedic surgeon is injecting fluid into the joint space. We're looking at a knee here, of course. There you can see the fluid being inserted to dilate the space and to anesthetize. Next, he puts in a small scope. Through that scope, he can take a look and at the same time, repair that damaged cartilage that you're seeing inside that knee. And that's in contrast to laparoscopy, which is done by the general or abdominal surgeon. Again, he in, makes through a small incision, he inserts a scope. In this case, the laparoscopic surgeon is going to remove an inflamed appendix, an appendectomy through a tiny incision. Using a scope, these instruments he can insert through a scope, clamp off that appendix, clip it, and remove it back through the scope. So there's your difference. And what's great about endoscopy is quicker recovery time, Obviously, you don't have those big scars, Much smaller less incisions. risk of infection. So it's such a huge advancement. And what's, what's amazing now is how many more surgeries are being done this way. Exactly. And the next step, we're now doing robotic surgery through those small incisions as well. So who knows where it will end up.